I grew up in two completely different worlds at exactly the same time. On one side, poverty at every street corner, and the other side, prosperity and wealth in a beautiful country. I was born into the twilight years of apartheid in South Africa, and I remember growing up in my teenage years watching Nelson Mandela, who had previously been in prison for 40 years, unite an entire nation that was previously divided by systemic racism. And I remember asking myself, how could this be possible that someone with such limited resources could enact such positive change in the world? Nelson Mandela's legacy lives on around the world today, but we still have got some massive problems to solve. We have a food crisis. We have a water crisis. Half the world's population today still lives in poverty. And we are yet to transition to net zero. We need solutions to these problems. I believe that despite our environment, our upbringing, and even the self-limiting beliefs that we impose on ourselves from time to time, each of us has got an inner genius that is waiting to be unleashed and help solve some of these massive issues for the world. What if we could unite this collective genius? What could be possible? And what would that world look like in the future? But let's start with what is genius? If you are in the top 0.0014% of the population and your IQ is over 140, then you would be technically classified as a genius. But I took this out to my friend network and my business network and I asked them the question, you know, who would be on a genius list? And we got some names that I think everyone would recognize. Albert Einstein, Stephen Hawking, Nikola Tesla. Now, no doubt there are hundreds of others that have existed through history and each of them have invested their lives into amazing things that have helped us progress humanity. Advancements in mathematics, pushing the boundaries in theoretical studies, art forms, and so much more. The problem is, despite all this intelligence, we haven't solved some of the fundamental problems around environment sustainability and climate change. We failed to prioritize the foundations necessary for living sustainably and as we speak right now, we're even looking to put a few people on Mars just in case we completely stuff that up as well. But progress has been made by the few to help the many and put us on a much better pathway. IQ aside, I'd like to add a few extra names to this genius list and leaderboard. Christiana Figueres for uniting 195 sovereign nations around the world and bringing governments together for the first time in history to limit future global warming. And what about Al Gore for his passionate speeches and sharing the story around sustainability for so many governments and businesses as well? I think it's time that we redefined what genius really is. We can keep the intelligence component, but I'd like to add in a few critical things to the definition as well. Advancements in sustainability, measurable positive impact, purpose-driven actions. You see, evidence shows that it's not only intelligent people that have helped advance sustainability and fix a lot of the problems relating to climate change for the world, but people just like you and me that have found our inner genius and aligned our purpose to doing something much bigger than ourselves to help save our world. And I wonder in the future, if one day you search an AI Google search engine, what list of people would come up? Who would be classified as geniuses in the future with this new definition? What about someone like David Attenborough that through his entire life has documented the systematic change based on human impact in biodiversity, environments, waterways, and the oceans? Or perhaps Greta Thunberg who realized from such a young age that the evidence did not support the progress actually being made by governments around the world and through her unique voice completely shifted the minds of an entire generation Today, we're 8 billion people on the planet. And I wonder how many other geniuses just like these people exist in the world. Genius sits between what we used to know and what we've just learned. Sometimes you meet people and intrinsically inside, you can feel there's something unique about these individuals. There's, there's something that they've got that is different, that they're enabling positive change in their own way. And we inspire to be like them and follow them and work with them. 
No doubt there are tens of thousands of stories like this around the world. And I hope you've got hundreds to tell as well about people that have really lent into helping positive change. But I thought I'd share a couple of stories from my side as well. I was recently in California at a sustainability conference. And over lunch, I found a little round table, just enough space for two plates. And there was a gentleman already there. So I quickly squeezed in next to him and we had lunch together. And I met Brandon, who is the co-founder of the Forestry and Fire Recruitment Program. You see, Brandon found a problem in his hometown where there were lots of previously incarcerated individuals, homelessness and unemployment, and he wanted to do something about it. So he created this program to train people to become volunteer firemen. Over the last few years, you will have seen that forest fires have become a massive problem. Record season across the board, both in California and also in Australia where I am today. In fact, in 2019, one fire alone was responsible for killing over a billion animals. Brandon's business, although small, has made a massive impact. Not only has he improved the livelihood of the, the community around him, but he's also created a structure that protects our forests and our biodiversity. And it really demonstrates what's possible through aligned genius. We have over 150 million companies around the world. That means we've got 150 million leaders and each of those leaders have got teams underneath them. Imagine aligning the common genius and directing that into doing amazing things for the world. I've got some very good friends of mine, Jason and Shay Witten, and on the back of their t-shirts it's written, helping people and planet. But when you meet them, you'll very quickly realize that their business is actually a real estate investment company. And over the last 20 years, they've built a very successful team and it's a very successful business. But the business only exists to help fund a lot of the impact projects they believe in. To date, they've funded seven schools and put 7,332 students through an education pathway. They've also funded a lot of reforestation, offsetting over 1,200 tons of carbon emissions. And they exemplify what is possible through business leadership and helping our people and the planet at the same time. For me, I remember exactly the moment in time when I found my inner genius and completely shifted what I did. Up until this point in time, I'd always thought that running a business was about making a whole lot of money, and then once you've made it, you then start investing some cash into various different charities and various projects. But I met a gentleman at a lunch in Sydney that completely changed my whole thinking. I met Andy Cooper in 2018, and within 20 minutes, he demonstrated what is possible through this concept of a business that is profit for purpose. You see, Andy created a product using his genius of actuarial science, which was a microinsurance solution for developing economies. And what it meant was that if a breadwinner of a family fell ill or couldn't work, the insurance policy would pay some money to cover the cost of the family, meaning that the kids would still go to school and get the education. And through this process, he fundamentally broke the poverty cycle for those communities. You see, through education, we're able to get a worldview. We gain knowledge. And most importantly, we start to learn the fundamental foundations of how to live sustainable lives. What resonated really deeply with me on that day was the sheer scale of what Andy was able to accomplish. Now, I don't think that Andy will remember me or that conversation, but I'm so thankful that I met him. I remember thinking back now on why am I thinking so small? You know, what global challenges could I help solve? What impact could I make in my lifetime? And most importantly, who would come with me on that journey? Life is fun and we live in exciting times. There's so much innovation happening around the world. There are massive problems to be solved and we need the collective genius in us all to shine out and help solve these problems. Mark Twain once said, the two most important days of our lives are the day that you're born and the day that you work out why. Any one of us could be the next person to enable massive change in the world. All we need to do is give ourselves permission and let our own genius shine through.